In zoos, you can watch babies eat, like this cougar kitten. Animal babies are cute and cuddly. We're going to show you lots of wild animal babies, so let's have fun and watch. After a long winter's sleep, the earth wakes up. It's springtime in the mountains. The sun climbs higher in the sky, the days get longer and warmer. Water that was held in winter's frozen grip escapes in a rush down the mountain to resume its journey to the sea. Meadows that were covered with snow now wear a garment of flowers. Think of a color and you'll find it. Each flower seems to say, look at me, I'm the prettiest. Wild places like these are home to wild animals and spring is when their babies are born. The bond between mother and baby is very strong. The mother is driven by instinct to help her baby grow up to live a life of its own. Mountain goat nannies and bighorn sheep ewes keep their babies close to steep, rocky areas where they can escape from danger. Ptarmigan rely on protective coloration or camouflage to hide them from danger. Her only movement is the blinking of her eye. Her nest is hidden in the flowers. She moves slowly toward the nest to keep its location secret. Eggs must be kept warm so the chicks growing inside them will be healthy and strong enough to break out or hatch. Chicks eat anything that looks interesting. At an early age they leave their nest to follow their mother and learn about the world of the ptarmigan. Hey, you're not a ptarmigan. No, this is a black bear cub, and he's having fun on the springtime snow. Phew. Time for a rest. I wonder if this stuff tastes any good. You know, there's one thing cubs like even better than snow. Trees. This cub is playing tree tag with its mother. All that play makes a little fella tired. Ah. There must be some way I can get comfortable. Ah. I need a pillow.
Boy, am I hungry. The one thing hungry bear cubs love most of all, especially at mealtime, is nursing from their mother. Yep, trees are a lot of fun. For playing, climbing, sleeping, tall or small. And they come in handy when you have to scratch hard to reach places. Grizzly bears prefer open spaces away from humans. And they are now found in only a few remote mountain ranges of the west, in addition to Canada and Alaska. The light-colored or grizzled look of the adult bear gives the grizzly its name. The hump on the back is also characteristic. Cubs are safe because the mother bear, or sow, is always near. Play is an important part of growing up. During play, cubs practice skills and learn behavior that will be useful in later life. Grizzly bears are not picky eaters. When they found this animal, all that remained were bones. Bones are fun to chew on and play with, but mother's milk tastes better any old day. Tiny babies need protection. This cougar mother is looking for a hidden shelter among the boulders, where her new kittens will be safe from storms and dangerous animals. Her kittens are just a few days old and quite helpless. Their eyes will not open for another week to 10 days. The mother spends a lot of time cleaning her babies and herself, just like a house cat. And the kittens spend their time eating, sleeping, and exploring, even with their eyes closed. The mother is hungry and she must find food for herself. Her kittens are safe and hidden from the animals such as the coyote, black bear, and bobcat. The kittens look for new adventure and sometimes find nothing but trouble. The mother hears her kittens cries for help and comes to the rescue. An adventure with mother nearby is much safer.
As the kittens get older, they wander off in search of new ways to have fun. And they find more than what they bargained for. Coyote pups are probably the most playful critters on Earth. And they think that young cougars are fantastic playmates. All except one. But he changes his mind. There are usually five to six pups in a family, and there is almost always a willing playmate. How about a game of tug of war? A game of coyote keep away? Catch me if you can. Gotcha. Maybe some coyote leapfrog. Singing coyote songs. Digging in the sand. Walking in the rain. Hmm, another playmate. Not too friendly. He needs a bath. He smells bad. Even adults can't resist play. Sometimes at the expense of a little mouse. The coyote loves to play, but it can be downright ornery when it gets hungry. A favorite meal is the pronghorn fawn. The pronghorn uses its camouflage and stillness to escape detection by the coyote. White-tailed deer fawns also rely on stillness and camouflage. The mother, or doe, is never far away. Tall grass or brushy areas are the best places to hide. The fawn spots blend in with the shadows of the leaves. See how easily you can see fawns when they are not hiding in tall grass? But the doe is always watching for enemies and only relaxes when she thinks it's safe. One animal doesn't need camouflage speed or size for protection. It uses stink. If you guess skunk, you're right. Even a cougar gives them plenty of room. Let's visit them back at their home den. Skunks live in burrows, under logs, sometimes even under houses. Dens are often small and dusty. Walking and running provides relief from the cramped quarters. The kittens are enjoying their exercise when a bull snake happens by and they stop to investigate. Hmm, doesn't smell bad. Uh-oh, this coyote could be trouble.
This is more than one skunk can handle. Help arrives just in time. A skunk with its tail in the air means business. And a smart coyote should know that. The smell does not come off easily. That's enough excitement for one day. Let's go home. This is a cousin of the coyote. The color of their fur when they grow up is part of their name. Do you know what they are? They are red fox. These four week old pups are play fighting. The only injury will be to the loser's pride. It looks like they're dancing. Perhaps the fox trot. Finally, they tire of their game and one breaks away to rest. The pups are older now and starting to look more like the adult. Mother fox provides the pups with food and protection, which gives them time to play. The mother has killed a snake and the pups approach it with curiosity and caution until they learn that it is safe. Much of the water from spring snow melt is held in ponds and reservoirs downstream. Marshes that occur in wet areas are habitat for water birds such as ducks. Water protects ducks from danger, so the mothers, or hens, build their nests close to the shore. The nest is lined with feathers and grass, which makes it very cozy. This duckling just hatched. Soon the rest of the eggs hatch, and the nest is almost filled to capacity. The hen is calling her ducklings. It's time to leave the nest for the safety of the pond. It can be a dangerous trip. The ducklings have to hurry. They reach the water's edge, all present and accounted for. Until they get their flight feathers, the ducklings will stay near the pond. The duckling probably thinks the frog is a rock. Ducklings spend much of their time chasing water bugs, looking for water bugs on top or underneath lily pads. This 
looks like a good duckling log. A duckling log is used to preen feathers, which keeps them waterproof. And for sleeping, first by one duckling, then two ducklings, three ducklings, four ducklings, five ducklings, six ducklings, and seven ducklings. We'll let them sleep while we watch bobcat kittens. It's dinner time and one kitten is laid to the table. Sitting up to feed is not very comfortable. The bobcat mother is very loving and gentle and doesn't mind her kitten climbing on her. The playful kittens will soon leave the den and learn to hunt with their mother. Until then, she will provide for all their needs. A rabbit's defenses against danger are its keen senses, speed and camouflage. The mother, or doe, hides the nest in tall grass. The doe can have as many as five to six litters a year and is therefore able to replace the rabbits taken by other animals. One of the animals that prey on rabbits is Mother Nature's bulldozer, the badger. She's preparing her den for the arrival of her babies. Besides digging ability, badger cubs are born with an instinct to wander, and Mother Badger has her paws full trying to keep them at home. There are some who say that a mother badger covers her den to hide it from other animals. I believe she's locking the door so the cubs won't get out. The door is open and the cubs are going to sneak out. It's a wonder mother badgers get any chores done. It seems like she spends most of her day fetching cubs. It's time for a digging lesson. Mother Badger forgot to tell the cubs not to get too close. The family leaves the den for a life of wandering. Cubs learn about rattlesnakes, digging under logs, coyotes, digging for rodents.
rabbits, and more digging. The badger never stops digging. We share our world with wild animals. If we all protect wild places, there will always be animal babies that are fun to watch. <laughs>